Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. And today, today, guess what? I'm doing a self challenge. What is a self challenge, you say? Well, I am challenging myself to get through my scrap pile because my scrap pile has grown to gargantuan heights and I just need to knock that puppy back. So, uh, if you want to come along with me and grab some stuff out of your scrap pile and let's just make some stuff, let's just go to town and make some stuff with what we have in our hand at the moment, let's do it. All right, let me show you my ever blossoming scrap box. Okay, there you can see it. Hope you can see it. Um, but that's it. And it was, there's actually, well, there was organization here at one time, but uh, let's just say that went out the window and it just becomes a dumping zone now. At the, I, I sit over here and then I dump over here as I've got extra scraps, but that's, we need to do something about this. So let me grab a pile, just random pile here. Not too big, Pam, or you'll never get done. Okay, I got something. All right, now I'm gonna drive this back over. Hang on. Oh, okay, let me just put it on my desk. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, now let me put the, put the, you come back. Okay, I hope I don't mess this up. All right, okay, up and down. Okay, now my desk is a mess. Uh, there's been a lot of reckless abandon going on these days, but I have this big pile of stuff and I need to make some things. And I thought one easy place to always start when you're trying to go through your scrap pile is uh, you can make books. You can make books. You can make books. Yes, very good, Pam. You can make books. <laughs> you can make books. You can make little books. You can make big books. You can make notebooks. You can make little journals, all sorts of stuff. So what I'm going to try and do is amass. I'm going to try to collect a bunch of things together, amass them together, and just create something. Okay, so let's see what, what do we have. A lot of these things, are they have been torn or cut out or something like that. So um, there's lots of weird stuff in here. But I am just going to... First of all, I'm just going to try and create a, a little booklet or a journal or something out of fun. Let me just take a quick peek, see what I have here. Okay, I have a nice purple piece. That's pretty. It'll make a nice cover. All right. Well, there we go. We have a cover. All right. And, and, and nothing has to be fantabulous. We're just, uh, you know, using up our supplies because that's a good thing to do. And I got a lot of them here. All right, so I've made a cover. So if you can find a big piece, you can make a cover really fast. And uh, now I'm just gonna stuff it. I'm not gonna get too worried or too excited about if everything fits or coordinates or any of that silliness. And uh, let me get see. All right, see I use one scrap and I make 17 out of it. That's my curse. Okay, so let me just fold a bunch of paper and uh, see what we have here. I'm not gonna worry too much about size or perfection. This is gonna be a very loose, torn sort of journal. Yeah, yeah. All right, just gra grab a bunch of these. You're kind of thick, maybe not. Oh, you're thinner, you'll do well. You'll do just dandy. Um, and it's a great way to blow through the scraparoo. Here's some uh, coffee dyed paper made the other day that can go in there. And uh, see, I'm, I'm folding some on angles. Some are straight, some are torn, some are not. I'm just going through the pile. Oh, here's an envelope. Yeah, I could put that in there. Maybe we'll make some little envelope things in there. Maybe I'll give my, my little journal book here a spine. I don't know, maybe. See, oh, that's kind of cool. That's pretty, well, we can't use all of you. Let's get rid of some of you. Okay, I'll put the small pieces over here. Yeah, because <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. All right, now, do I need more than that? Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's, uh, let's do a little more. Oh, that's a nice page. Not yet, not yet for you. Let's see what else we have. Any more big pages? More big pages wanna come out and play? Um, well, we'll save you for another, the next thing we'll make. Okay, so. All right, now I'm going to arrange. And I don't think I have so much where I need to build a spine. It's not gonna be that fat. So I'm just going to create as is. Uh, should I tear the edges? Sure, 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 sure. And uh, these are gonna be basic things, not very super fancied up or anything, but just, uh, do you notice to have some things? You know, everybody likes to have a few things. All right, so I, I like that. I think I'm gonna put that there. I'll put that there. Maybe I'll put that on, the, that kind of looks cool. Oh, 
almost seem to be doing one of these tear things, but it's on the inside this time. Hmm, who knew? Um, breaking rules, doing new things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Maybe you could go in here. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Did I get all the papers? No, not yet. Where are you going to go? you got to go somewhere. You want you want to go... Where's middle? Here? All right, I can't see you, but that's okay because you're inside and I know you're there. Um, and then we have this, which maybe we'll put right in the center, or maybe a little up higher. Okay. So now we have a clump and we have a cover. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew this in place because that's easy, but you could also staple this in place using the staple trick. And the staple trick is if you have a regular swing line staple, what you want to do is open it up and you want to, you know, turn this over like that and then uh, staple three staples, but you want something spongy or soft under you like a pink rubber eraser or um, some kind of sponge, not sponge. I use this stuff. This foamy stuff, you could use fun foam, something like that, because then your staple will be straight and then you can remove it and then just push your staples closed so you don't need a long arm thing. But I'm just going to whiz sew that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just sewed a straight stitch right down there and now I've made what I call a skeleton notebook. It's just basically the, no the construct of a very simple notebook and I could do whatever I want with this at any later time, but I have used up some of my scraps so they're already they are used into something that can be functional for a later project. Okay, put that, putting that aside. And what else can we make, Pam? Hmm? Hmm? What else can we make? Uh, I think we can make a tear, uh, tear pad. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm gonna make a long one this time. I haven't made a long one in a while. Okay, so let's grab, where's tear ruler? Where are you? I know you're here somewhere, tear ruler. Okay. You don't want to come out and play? Fine. That's all right. I don't need you. I can, I can tear by myself. Tear ruler. I'll probably find it any second now. Um, okay, so I'm just tearing the paper and I'm going to make a longer notebook that is going to be layered. This? That's kind of pretty. That looks good on there. And you don't have to tear every side. It's just kind of a collection of things. Or you could. Totally up to you. Or oh, maybe that. That looks kind of cool on the end there. Yeah, I like that. All right. And, uh, oh, you could go across the top now. Nah. Uh, let's see. Oh, that would look kind of pretty. Um, all right, so this one, I think I will staple. Oop. I want to show you different options of what you can do. You know, if you were organized, this would run very smoothly. Um, and for those of you who are more organized than I am, where's my stapler? Oh, okay, hello, I just, I had you, I was working with you this morning. I know you were right here. There you are, mm -hmm. right where I left you. Yep, yep, yep. So, uh, just staple that and that is handled. Now I can adorn that or do something pretty with that across the top. Um, and I'll, I'll just put a bunch of these in a pile and then I'll come back and play with them a little more. But I just want to get some basic construct stuff down. And uh, I'll do a few of those because that uses up paper fast, which is a good thing. Yeah. There are you, some story. Okay, a little mouse. Well, we might use you, Mr. Mouse, but we will use the writing right now. There is my tearing ruler. <laughs> Where did you go? Okay, I'm checking, I'm checking thoroughly, checking thoroughly. It must be over here. Whoops, I just dropped my two things. That's okay. Okay. All right, so, no, we got no tearing ruler today. The thing is huge. I don't know where it could be hiding. Um, did I drop? No? Okay. Well, just carry on, Pam. That's the way it is sometimes. Okay. Anybody see it? <laughs> That's a pile of mess here. All right, I'm putting that in the little pieces. Okay, so I have this, and that's cute. You might be a little small. You I can use later. You I have some possibilities. Oh, stuff's falling down everywhere. Um, okay, you're harder, firmer. All right, okay, we had one of you already. Oh, we have a card. Oh, that's nice. All sorts of ideas there. But a blue piece. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, let's do something with you. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to zip across here. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I just sewed it across the top. 
And now I can do anything I want with this after. So let me just put that aside. Hang on, I gotta pick up the two that fell. Okay. So, so far, we have these three possibilities. So I'm gonna put those safely down here. Okay, now we know where they are. All right, so now next, we could just do some simple folds. Maybe some, this, I, I like this, um, this is coffee, or coffee. This is coffee dyed, but it is um, college rule paper. And I think it works really well for many things. Um, see, I have a big chunk that I, oh, I could just make a nice little notebook out of this or make several notebooks. I don't need all that in one. Okay, so how do I get this together? Well, I could sew it or I could staple it. Let me staple this one. Okay, that's easy. It's contained. And now I'll make one that is sewn. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Let me put that on the outside. All different papers. They all can re have new life breathed into them. We just got to see the possibilities. That's it. Okay, we have that. We'll use that. And oh, we have some different kinds of papers. Oh, look at that. We have, uh, oh, that's kind of pretty on the back, isn't it? And this is kind of plain. So maybe we could just do a... I'm going to save this and maybe we'll just do a big collage at the end to use up a lot of the little scraps. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, you're kind of cute. What could we make out of you? We could make, you make a little cute. We just made a seed pack the other day. We could make another seed pack because I have seed pack on the brain. All right. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that'll work. So we're going to put the glue here. Come on, glue. I know you're coming. Are you stuck? Mm-hmm. There we are. Oh, you're coming out like crazy now. That's right. Okay. Self challenge. I, I guess I can do this for about 30 minutes because then my, my little lovely uh, uh, phone that I record on will kick me off or take me to a second video. So let's just see how far I get. Oh, wait, I haven't realized. tried that. Okay. Let's try that. Oh, that's kind of cute. Um, nope, that won't work. Well, it may be. Okay. So I'm going to make a seed packet. I made the tube. Okay. Whoop. Come on, glue stick. Um, and probably should have used a Fabrifix. It glues faster, <laughs> a little faster. Um, yeah, let me use that. I'm just going to use it because I'm, I'm working with you guys on the, on the fly here. And, uh, some people ask me, why do you use Fabrifix on paper to paper? Um, because it's faster for videos. It helps. And uh, it's a little pricier, but it does work. Okay, so don't prove me wrong. <laughs> now this is um, thicker paper, the Braille. And uh, let me just, while that's grabbing, I will ink it up a little bit so you can see the dotties. It's kind of cool. What's a dotty fun here? Yeah, isn't that neat? Very cool. All right, so now take this oh okay that came apart completely we'll figure that out later all right we are going to cut this in to about that little fold and then cut that out and we're gonna do the same thing here cut this up and then cut this out okay we're gonna do a little roundy roux Doop. And a little roundy roux. Doop. Okay, very nice. All right, so now we can go back and re-glue. There we go. See, these are this is better to use the thinner paper with because you don't get that um, coming apartedness because it's uh, wanting to do that when you squash the tube. Okay, so I'm gonna fold that. Then we're gonna glue that. Yep. Yep. And there's no rushing. Rushing is not um, mandatory here. Um, okay, I'm not going to rush anymore. How about that? I'm just going to stop rushing. There is no rushing to be had here. There we go. And I'm making a cute, isn't that the cutest little seed pack? Yeah, it is. I, I, just, I just love little seed packs lately. I think maybe it's spring. I'm just so happy with spring coming and, uh, you know, the flowers are blooming. I planted uh, five bean seeds the other day because I'm not a very good gardener, but I was... I'm practicing and I figured this is a good time to practice. So I planted five beans. Are they bean seeds or are they beans? <laughs> I, I, I put five of them in the ground and I have very rocky sandy ground here and 
Um, I don't have the ability right now to get better soil, so I am just giving it a chance because I've heard beans are hardy, so they should. Isn't that so cute? That's so cute. Um, beans should be hardy and should be able to uh, grow through most things, so, or so I've been told. So that, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, I got a stencil here. Maybe I can use that. Um, okay, so, oh, let's make some clusters. What are we thinking? Of course we got to make some clusters. Yeah, one, two, yeah, three. That's kind of cool. Do you want to do more than three? Let's just do a bunch of these. Let's just knock them out. Okay, a little cluster. Very cute, right? Nothing too fancy, but always at the ready. Very nice to have. You can make a similar one. Oh, maybe, oh, let me put some of this in there. That's kind of pretty. Hmm. Put you there. That looks good. And then put you there. I like that. I have no idea what words are coming on here. I should probably look at them. Oh, that looks okay. Right? Yeah. Okay, that passes. Okay, we've got two clusters. And let's get some more going here. Get some different colors together. Might look nice. Just some torn edges. Okay. Threes, fives, odd numbers seem to work for some reason. And uh, these can also be dolled up or uh, calmed down depending on what, how you want to do this. Um, let's see what else I have. I have delusions of grandeur all over this. Uh, um, oh, that's kind of neat. We'll save that for something else. Uh, all over this desk. Oh, there's some dark caramel colored stuff. Oh, that, no, not enough contrast. Okay, how about some green? Well, you're a nice cheat, though. We can make something out of you. Ah, oh, la, 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 la. Oh, how about this? There we go. That's what we need. We need some little leafies. Yep, little leafy greenies. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you only need two. Look at that. How cute is that? That's just like a little something. It's just a little something. Yeah. Can figure that all out. Um, all right, so we have these guys. This is from some coffee dyeing edge that I've torn. And okay, so let's make something different. All right, um, okay, let's take this. This is kind of kind of square, and uh, we're gonna make a little something. Okay. Well, I've got these scallopy scissors here, so we'll just use these. All right. And we'll scallop down this side. Scallop with the best of them. And we'll scallop across the bottom. To say we scalloped. We came, we saw, we scalloped. Mm -hmm. Very cute. All right. So let's, let's do some layers over the top of this to use up some of this extra. Uh, I do like the torn look of this, so I'm going to do some tearing. And tearing is easy. It's fun to do. And I am, I'm being bold and some of these I can throw away. I can throw away this. Look at me. I'm throwing it away. See that? Look at that. Oh, I'm so bold. All right. Put that there. And let's get some of this going. This is sort of pretty. And well, let's just fold it in half. Tear it. I'm going to do some tear layering for a little opening booklet thingy. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. Yeah. There, there, okay. What about some of that? Sure, why not? Okay, there. All right, what else we got? Some, oh, the same color. I might have some for that. There we go. And you? Okay, why not? Put you there. All right, now let me go. Oh yeah, maybe a little writing, that would be cute. All right, let, 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 me, let me get rid of you. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, we'll bring you back. There you go. You're on. All right, let me go. Uh, let me go sew this across the top. Be right back. Okay, I now have this, and this will open up, of course, and I can decorate the inside, and a person can write in there, put notes, put little secrets, and that can be clipped into a journal, and I can decorate that up more. But it gives me a base to work on. So basically, what I'm doing today is I'm making bases for things so that they're they're at the ready. Um, I know you can, oh, that's kind of pretty. All right, maybe I'll just make a picture frame there. I kind of like that. All right, let me do that. Where is my glue stick? There it is. 
Now, I really seriously need to craft my way out of this mess. Okay, this is, this is actually quite fun. Um, it's very therapeutic, it's calming. I feel very calm, yes, I'm calm now. <laughs> and uh, it, it's actually just, it's playful. It's, uh, it's freeing and you just don't know what you're gonna come up with and you might come up with some new fun ideas and then you can share them with us on the, uh, the Facebook group or you can share them in the comments like tell us about what you made in the YouTube videos, that's awesome too. All right, let me just make a little frame here. It almost looks like a little rug or something, doesn't it? Yeah, that's kind of pretty. And I could put a focal point on there or I could put a quote in the center or do something. I like that. Okay, that's good. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, these words are interesting. Very unusual. Let me, let me, let me just grab them. Oh, look at that flower. He's pretty too. See, all sorts of possibilities here. Just got to see your eyes just got to kind of rub your eyes and take a second look because there are things I'm not grabbing any ink I'm not going to ink anything it's hard for me but I'm not going to do it I'm just going to create and see what I can do maybe I can actually use that flower with this yeah yeah why why can't I I can I have to learn to uh, not ink that's I think my next challenge is going to be you know not inking a journal maybe I'll, I'll do a journal that's not inked and I'm, I'm thinking I can do it with layering and some other stuff like that. Okay, so how about I, okay, that doesn't really show up very well. But maybe I can take some of this, put that under there, I could do that. Okay, so I'm trying to get a pop color here. So something shows. Yeah, that's kind of cute, right? Yeah, all right, so let me put this together and we figure it out. Um, it's gonna take some glue stick. Yep. Here, I'm gonna glue that. And then we're going to glue, whoop, no, no, back up. That wasn't the plan. Who, who said that? <laughs> All right, let's put this down. Okay, we already have glue there. Yeah, put you like that. Now put some glue stick there. I should really glue this thing. Oh, it has glue on it, good. Okay. And what am I making? This is like a little oddball cluster. He's like a tall cluster there. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm making a little cluster pile, a little notebook pile, a little oddball pile, whatever, whatever these are. I'm going to take the really super small pieces and put them over there and figure those out later. <laughs> but uh, I mean, some of these are just way too small. So right now we, we can let some of those go. But uh, all right. Now here, oh, this is cute. I think I feel like making like, I don't know, like a a bookmark or something out of this or a tag it's already got the angle there so let me do that I'm just, I'm just having fun with these scallop scissors today for some reason I'm all about the scallops today oh that's really pretty huh no I, I really want to ink this but I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm just going to leave that as is should I put that there that looks kind of cute doesn't it all right I'll do it um okay let me ink this or ink this <laughs> let me glue this huh I just see the word Insane. Yes. <laughs> uh, feeling a little insane today, but in a good way. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There. Okay. So now we've made that. That could be a little journaling card. It could be a tag. Or all sorts of things we could do with that. I could punch a hole here and have a little hang thing. Make a bookmark out of it. Not sure yet. I'm gonna put it over in the possibilities pile. Oh, look, we have you. What would you like to be? Hmm? Oh, well, oh, okay. I have an idea. We'll just keep working with you. You're you're kind of fun today. I'm enjoying you, you little, you little, you little scallop scissors, you. Yeah. Okay, we're going to use this text. And we'll put you in here. I like that word. Queen bee-ism. <laughs> um, but let's back you with something to give you a little bit of... Let's maybe use something we haven't used yet. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. So we don't have enough to do everybody, but we can do some. I can put you here. And I can tear you there. There. Now I have something that stands out a little bit too long. Too long. Figures. Figures. Okay. That's all right. We'll just tear the top and we'll make you fit. We'll make you fit. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're making you fit. And we're going to have fun, whether it fits or not. How about that? All right, here we go. Is it going down? So it's still a little long. All right, we'll just get rid of your bottom. 
I wish it was that easy to get rid of my bottom that easily, but it's not. Um, okay, there we go. That's down. Queen Bism, I want you in there. Okay, let's put some brown over here. All right. Just using what we got today. Going through some of the... There, just using some background. Maybe layer it up like that, sure. Okay, so let's do that. Crank up the glue stick. We are going to town. Okay. Oops. All right. Now, let's take this little piece and have some fun with it. Yep. Sorry, I couldn't show you a, a prototype, but, you know, as you can see, these things are on the fly. Okay, that sticks up a little bit. That might not be too bad. Let's just see. Okay, let's put that there. Yeah. Okay. It's cute. Put you there. Yeah, you're in the middle. Okay. Now we have this area over here, which we could leave plain for writing, or we could add something for writing. I think I'll add something for writing here. I'll lose a different color, though. Uh, you know, when you coffee dye everything, everything... <laughs> That turns how coffee died. Um, okay, that's kind of cool, and that's different, and that pops, so let's use that. And uh, maybe a straight scissor this time. Oh, there you are. Okay, let's see how long you need to be. You need to be about that long. Okay, cut straight, bam. Dude, there we go. All right, well, so we're just making a little booklet. Mm -hmm. Booklets are fun. They're basically just, uh, they open and close. They're like a a no page book. They're just the cover basically. And uh, you can make these as you will using up your scraps. Okay. So I've got the inside and uh, I think I'm going to leave that sticking out. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I, I don't know why this excited me all of a sudden, but I'm going to use some like little pieces on here. I think that's cute, but I want it to be this way. Yes. Which one? Which one? I made some of these that you're cute. Um, well, that's very cute. But I think maybe we'll make a new one. I don't know. What, what should we do? Should we stick this one on here? Okay, let's just do that and see we did. All right, I'm going to glue you down. There we go. It's probably too much glue. Yeah, don't listen to myself here. All right, there we go. All right, so we have you. Okay, so now we have that and we have that. All right, so now we're just, and like I said, I don't feel it's finished yet, but it's going to go in the configure it out later pile. But at least I'm making something out of all this stuff. And it's going to go into the next transitory depository. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, oh, remember, these are those little adult colored things in. Oh, they're very pretty. Um, so that I can grab them and create as I go. I think I said that like 10 times. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we have some of these. Hmm. I'm feeling like we want a Brad. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's. Oh. Let me figure out if I can make you all the same size. That would be nice. Let's try that. Okay. And then let's make you just shorter. All right. You're going to go to there. And now all three of you are going to be here. And now I can grab a Brad. <laughs> Here, Brad. No, not Steve. No, not Jerry. Where's Brad? Come on, Brad. Oh, I got a million of it. Where are you? Okay, I'll bring one of you. You're, you're kind of cute. You're kind of big. Let me get something smaller. <laughs> that one's enormous. Enormous. Okay. My Brads. Where are you? Oh, here you are. Here's a bunch of little tiny Brads. Uh, okay, I'll take a blue one. That's because it's right here. Okay. Oh, that looks cute. All right. So now I want, I got to cut a little hole in here and I can use a pin or I can use this little guy. Um, huh. Oh, there he is. Where's my, where's my little guy? And he was right where I left him. Can you imagine that? He's always right where I leave him. All right. That's this guy. He's just got a little tiny thing and he's a 1 16th pa paper punch. Very tiny. There, I'm through all of them. There's my Brad. So I'm just playing with layers. I'm not getting too committed to anything here. Not judging. No judgy, judgy. <laughs> oh, there's a. Hmm. Let me give you a different bottom. 
There. All right, so now when these go this way and somebody wants to explore, you know, I could do things on the back. I could put quotes. I could put pictures. I could put rubber stamps, all sorts of stuff. But it is constructed and ready to go. So there we go. Um, and I have to remind myself that, remember, these are scraps. So it's okay to just goof off and have fun with these things. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, let's do this. This little piece here, we're just going to tri-fold it. We're not going to make a um, tube. We're going to leave it open. But I think we're going to make like a little closure here. Oh, hell, let's just pull this out again. Okay. All right. Oop, come here. Oh, no, I'm rusting around, Sally. All right. Okay. Now, this is picking up that, a little bit of that color. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of Fabrifix because it's stronger. And this will be a little secret note paper that's folded. And this can be inside. Whoop, there goes the glue stick. The book. Oh, I'm at 30 minutes already. See that? See that? How fast time goes when you're having fun. All right, so there we go. So then that will open up like that. And then it can be tucked back in to close. How cute is that? Used for many things. So, oh my gosh, we got a lot of things. I don't know if I can show them to y'all, but we made this. We made this. Yeah, we made this. Yeah. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, hit the notification bell if you want to uh, see more videos as they come out. Um, favorite tools and supplies are in the Amazon store, linked down below. Uh, digital kits, vintage digital kits are also linked down below. You cute little seed bucket. And um, videos come out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday at 7 a.m. Eastern time. And uh, podcasts come out Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, playlists down below and off uh, at the end of the video. And Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. You will find me also on the Facebook group. I have lots of fun there doing weekly and monthly challenges. And uh, remember that fun can be simple. And uh, create with reckless abandon, everybody. And I encourage you to self-challenge yourself. Just grab a pile and just commit to using what's in that pile and just see what you come up with. Um, and we, we also have the clusters. Okay, so we did make major progress. You don't belong. <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. I had fun hanging out with you guys. Take care, everyone. Till next time. Bye-bye.